Happy Saturday, April the 13th, everyone. Hunter here again at Weather on the Go. And in today's weather forecast, we are going to be looking at a big warm-up in store this weekend with sun-splashed skies across the middle of the country, as well as still monitoring a substantial severe weather outbreak that looms for Monday the 15th and Tuesday the 16th. Don't sleep on Tuesday. Tuesday is also looking to be a big risk of severe weather and a late season frost and freeze expected later next week and into next weekend. We'll give you everything that you need to know in today's weather forecast. Hey, if you are new here to Weather on the Go, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below for detailed, accurate weather forecasts. We'll keep you covered on your weather forecast throughout the year. Also, be sure to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below. It helps to get all of this information passed along to more and more people. So let's look here at the synoptic pattern for this weekend. And looking here at the maps, we have a ridge of high pressure in firm control here across most of the eastern two-thirds of the country. And what this means is temperatures will be warming up in a big way this afternoon. Temperatures 20 to 30 degrees above the norm for the middle of April standards here across the high plains, down into the central plains, and eastward into the upper Midwest today. And then expanding even further across the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes vicinity as we go into your late weekend on your Sunday time frame. Let's look at some of those high temperatures. This afternoon, we're back into the 80s, all the way up from portions of the High Plains into South Dakota, down here through Nebraska. Kansas will be a state where we could see middle and upper 80s this afternoon. That will stretch southward through Oklahoma into Texas, maybe even over here into Missouri and Arkansas, seeing those 80s this afternoon. As we go into tonight, very mild night in store for most of us here across the middle of the country. Some lows here in the middle of the country around the Corn Belt region, lows only in the 50s and even low 60s, and that will be a higher springboard of which to start as we have even warmer temperatures in store for late weekend on Sunday. 90s, first 90s of the year possible there into Kansas as we go into that Sunday time frame. So definitely a toasty weekend in store. But what about precipitation? So as we go here in through the day today, sun splash skies here across the middle of the country. So coinciding with those warmer temperatures, dry weather will be likely and if not expected as we go through today and into your Sunday time frame across the middle of the country. So if you have any outdoor plans, move ahead with those because it looks to be a great weekend in store across the middle of the country. But we do have some bumpy weather to talk about here. From the Mid-Atlantic into the Ohio Valley, there is a low-end threat for severe weather. A slight risk, a level 2 out of 5 from the Storm Prediction Center's Day 1 outlook here, has been issued here for... Um, for Sunday. We definitely have a threat here from the Harrisburg region back through Pittsburgh and into eastern Ohio, and we also have a marginal risk of severe weather extending back here in towards the New York City area, Philadelphia and Baltimore, westward through Cleveland, Columbus, the Dayton and Cincinnati region, so we'll keep an eye on that for Sunday. There is a non-zero tornado threat here. We do have a 2% chance of a tornado within a 25-mile radius within this zone from Scranton here down toward Allentown westward through Harrisburg, State College, back through Morgantown, Wheeling, also the Pittsburgh region. We'll keep an eye on that as we go into Sunday. Let's look at the setup here for Sunday. So we have moderate instability in place as we go into the afternoon. Instability around 1,500 joules per kilogram, so definitely seeing enough energy for these thunderstorms in which to become severe. We also have to keep an eye here on the wind shear because we're going to have enough wind shear in place, especially here around the Pittsburgh region, back towards State College here in Harrisburg, where we can see a couple of rotating supercells capable of producing some tornadoes. So let's go here through the timing. Sunday morning, we have a cluster of showers and storms from northern and northeastern Pennsylvania up into central New York. A few of these could become severe with damaging winds and some hail. I do not see any severe weather with tornadoes during during the Sunday morning commute. As we go into the afternoon though, we're gonna see a narrow band of some showers and storms continue to blossom from central and southern New York State westbound into portions of northern Pennsylvania here. These will upscale growth for damaging winds and hail, but a couple isolated tornadoes may be possible. I think the tornado threat maximizes late Sunday afternoon and into early Sunday evening across central and western PA with more of these isolated and discrete supercells 
cells here. The main band of storms will mainly be producing damaging winds and hail further east, but I think the highest tornado threat is across western and central PA in and around the Pittsburgh and State College, Pennsylvania region. Looking at the weekend time frame, overall, like I mentioned, very dry across the middle of the country, some rainfall here across the northeast, down through the Ohio Valley there and into the mid-Atlantic, and our new trough moving in into California, the Sacramento Valley getting some decent rains, and also coastal California over an inch of rain through the weekend as well, and that is our next trough. That's our next storm system we're keeping an eye on for Monday. That'll be roaming the landscape around the Four Corners region during the day on Monday before ejecting as a negatively tilted trough on Tuesday, April the 16th. And you can see here, synoptically, this is a setup for severe weather. It's April, it's severe weather season. We have a negatively tilted trough. So an enhanced risk of severe weather has been introduced by the Storm Prediction Center a number of days ago. And they maintain that here across Southern Kansas, down into West Central Oklahoma and Northwestern Texas. Slight risk all the way up here into Southeastern South Dakota, Nebraska and Western Iowa. That extends down through northwest Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and down all the way into west central Texas on Monday. And significant severe weather. In these dashed lines, that's where we could be seeing very large hailstones over two inches in diameter, a couple of strong EF2 to EF5 strength tornadoes, and possibly some hurricane force wind gusts over 75 miles per hour. We will keep you covered on that. Let's look here at the setup though, because this is a big setup for severe weather for April standards. We have dew points rising into the 60s out ahead of the dry line, very sharp dry line back here in toward portions of the Western Plains. Look at the dry air behind that dry line into Colorado and New Mexico, the Oklahoma, Texas panhandle here into the teens, if not single digits for dew points. So a very sharp dry line, a lot of lift provided with this as well. That lift will be maximized with more instability. Instability values peaking around 3,000 joules per kilogram down here into northeastern Texas, western Oklahoma into the Oklahoma Panhandle, and southwestern Kansas. That looks to be the maximum area of tornado potential right now for Monday. And you can see that because we have a very potent 500 millibar mid-level jet streak that's going to be racing across from southwest to northeast on the base of this trough and a very robust low level jet in the 850 millibar layer around 60 to 65 knots, especially maximizing there into Kansas, but still some strong values into Western Oklahoma and Northeastern Texas. Let's look at this here. This will change a few times, but we'll keep an eye on the general timing. Monday morning, pretty dry out here. There is a cap in place. We have a cap on the atmosphere, which is essentially a lid. We have warm surface temperatures, but as you go up in the atmosphere, normally the atmosphere cools, but we have a warm layer aloft just above our heads by a few thousand feet. And what that's going to do is prevent the formation of clouds and thus formation of big, tall updrafts for thunderstorms. And that will suppress them, this severe weather, through much of the day on Monday. And you can see as we go into Monday afternoon, kind of like a pot of boiling water, once you lift that lid, that cap, we start to see thunderstorms develop Monday afternoon from Nebraska and Western Iowa southward here. Now, it may take a little longer for that cap to be broken across southern Kansas, western Oklahoma. Oklahoma and northwestern Texas here almost a loaded gun sounding here for Monday afternoon and evening. And But as we go into Monday evening, look at that discrete supercells developing here from southern Kansas through western Oklahoma and northwest Texas. The tornado threat will be maximized within that enhanced risk area. And then we'll start to see that build a nocturnal tornado threat even early Tuesday morning after midnight, one, two, three, even four o'clock in the morning here. Definitely keeping an eye on that. And the warm front, don't sleep on the warm front up here into eastern Nebraska, Iowa, or even Northwest Illinois, we have to keep an eye on that early Tuesday morning for tornado potential. It doesn't stop there. Tuesday, April the 16th, another threat here of severe weather. Right now, this is a 15% probability, a slight risk. That's a level two out of five on the scale from Southern Wisconsin, much of Iowa, the entire state of Illinois, Western Indiana, down through the entire state of Missouri, Western Kentucky and Tennessee, down here into Arkansas, Northeast Texas, Eastern Oklahoma, some of these areas in play as we 
go into Tuesday. Looking at Tuesday's setup, very similar. Dew points into the 60s out ahead of the cold front up here. We have a low pressure system deepening across the upper Midwest during the day on Tuesday. Instability won't be as high on Tuesday up across the Midwest or the Missouri Valley, but enough for severe weather and thunderstorm development. But what is going to pick up the slack with the instability is our mid-level jet and the 500 millibar layer, very powerful up here into portions of the Midwest for the middle of April and a very robust very ferocious low-level jet here intercepting that as well across the Midwest. This is going to help rotate thunderstorms through the day on Tuesday. So starting Tuesday morning, ongoing convection, thunderstorm activity from Monday night into Tuesday morning, ongoing at the start of the period here across the Midwest. This could lead to more widespread cloud cover, so convective trends will need to be monitored through the day on Tuesday. But as we go into Tuesday afternoon, latest model guidance has a cold front across portions of the Des Moines area area down towards Jefferson City and Springfield, Missouri, pressing eastward. Along and ahead of that front, we're going to see two distinct areas of severe weather potential. The first up here near the triple point, low pressure system with enhanced tornado potential across the Hawkeye state of Iowa into northern Missouri. And then a secondary area along the cold front down across the Arklamis region here into Arkansas, Louisiana, and eventually pressing into northwestern Mississippi, also with an all-hazard severe weather threat. As we go into Tuesday evening, that will press across the Chicagoland area, Milwaukee, down here through Lincoln, Illinois, and into portions there of also St. Louis, Paducah, Kentucky, and Indianapolis, some of the bigger metropolitan areas affected Tuesday evening with an all-hazard severe weather threat even after dark into Tuesday evening across those areas. And again, just to remind you, Tuesday we have a slight risk of severe weather, but I do think there is likely to be an upgrade to at least an enhanced risk up here across Iowa, Missouri, and into Illinois with this setup as it looks right now now with the latest model guidance. As we get past this storm, we're going to see a very potent cold blast come down from Canada into the middle of the country later next week and next weekend here. This takes you all the way through Monday, April the 22nd. And then it's also going to push the active pattern further to the south towards the Gulf Coast as well. We're going to be drying out across the upper Midwest and even out west drying out as well up here towards Seattle, Portland, and down there toward the Sacramento region into California. Let's look at the storms though as we go into middle and late week and into the weekend. You can see here on Wednesday, it wouldn't rule out a lower end threat for a marginal, maybe slight risk day for severe weather across the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, down into the Tennessee Valley. If that does occur, this will mainly be for damaging winds and hail, the tornado threat is exceptionally low. But look at the snowstorm up here. That shows you the cold air in which is going to be moving southward from Canada into the northern U.S. by Wednesday. Thursday, still snowing up here into Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. Some snowflakes, though, bleeding into the northern U.S., North Dakota, northern Minnesota as well. Cold frontal boundary moves through the Midwest with maybe another low-end threat for severe weather by Thursday. And then going into Friday, yes, snowflakes possible. Minneapolis, St. Paul, up to Duluth back there toward portions of Bismarck and Fargo. Something to keep an eye on as we go into Friday and then into the weekend. It's all about that cold front dropping through portions of the Gulf Coast, bringing some precipitation, but more importantly here, some colder air. But let's look at the precipitation through next Sunday through April the 21st, and you can see beneficial rains across the middle of the country. The eastern two-thirds, a lot of these areas in the upper Midwest, parts of the central plains here into the Ohio Valley, we have some drought ongoing, especially northeast Iowa here, an extreme drought. We're going to see those areas actually receiving two to three inches of rain at least through next Sunday. So that's definitely some good news. But here comes the cold air. The middle of next week, there's that snowstorm potent up here in the Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and western portions of Ontario, Canada. That will bring down a colder air mass over top of that new snowpack up there for the middle of next week. That will be diving southbound all the way to the southern plains and near the Gulf Coast late next week and by next weekend folks that cold front will clear the east coast and the gulf coast and definitely a lot of us east of the rockies will be dealing with below normal to well below normal temperatures by the next weekend time frame and here's your frost and freeze forecast that i came up with between friday april the 19th and sunday april the 21st if you're in the light blue here all the way down toward the dallas fort worth area into little rock memphis and down toward tupelo mississippi and then stretching over to charlotte you 
you guys over here have a possible chance of some frost or freeze conditions in the medium blues here like Chicago, Indianapolis, Cincinnati stretching over to Kansas City here in Wichita. That will move east again towards Baltimore, New York City here in Trenton, New Jersey, Boston. We have a likely chance of frost and freeze. If you're to the north here into the darker blue, up here into Bismarck, Fargo, the Twin Cities region, the Minneapolis, St. Paul vicinity there, Green Bay down towards portions there, La Crosse stretching over to Buffalo and Watertown, New York. Those areas have a very likely probability of frost and freeze conditions between Friday, April 19th and Sunday, April 21st. Well, we will keep you covered here with the weather forecasts, especially as a substantial severe weather outbreak looms early next week for Monday, but also Tuesday. Again, don't sleep on Tuesday. Does look equally as big of severe weather as on Monday across the Midwest, and we will keep you covered on this channel. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. We may have a live stream, another video update this afternoon. Make sure to do that. Also, be sure to press the like button down below. It helps out more than you know, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend out there.